All right, guys. So here's my three and a half skull uh, battle er, in for the Battle of Lockdale, turn five. This is the battalion yeah. supply. Um, as you can see, we're sporting our fancy uh, fluorescent pink camouflage, which is really important. So um, this is just a straight up battle. I'm hoping it is three and a half skull. So I'm hoping to get some uh, good combat here. I've had to run a couple of milk run missions. Uh, I had to jump off planet and come back to be able to get a three and a half skull battle mission here on Lockdale. So I'm um, hoping this pans out and is actually quite good. I'm actually hoping to do really well here. We've got enough mines and stuff and this is a battle. It's supposed to be one lance. It might end up being two, we'll see. Commander. I'm just gonna move up along the road here. Now my unit's not completely, like, totally outfitted with, like, amazing stuff, so... It should be a good fight. I think the mines will be the balancer. Yes, Commander. Um... Can we... We really can't get down that way. I think I've played on this map before. It's not really the ideal place you want to go, so let's go this direction with everybody. So the loadouts are actually kind of not bad on this, this unit now compared to uh, when we were fighting in the Battle of Lhasa, so they were more of a, um, yeah, I keep forgetting the VTOLs in this, sorry, the, yeah, the VTOLs in this environment have like, since it's low atmosphere, they have al almost no movement. So this, the Verbi gunship might not get any action this battle, but I brought it along just because it was a three and a half skull. I didn't know what to expect, so. For orders. But the lance has gone through a few modifications, so the wedding ball Irby is gone, and a few of the other mech, a few, yeah, a few of the other things that we had are gone, like the crosscuts gone and stuff. So we've got more of a combat force here. Um, yes, command. Still got the loader king as the main mech. No problem. And I try to outfit this lance as basic as possible. There's no like a, there's no amazing clan gear or anything like that on it. It's just all basic gear. Because these guys aren't What's up, generally a full combat force. So we got a standard. Uh, oh, that's going to give us a good opportunity. Let's move up here. We got a Roger. standard um, trebuchet here. Yeah, the five end, I think it's just got the, the two uh, missile hard points. I think it's the eight that's got three. We're going to drop it right on this guy. That's, that's an Owens. I don't know if we'll be able to take the legs with this, but I know this spread of uh, no like joy. augmented uh, um, LRMs does a half decent job. I can't remember if the grenade launchers. On the hmm. Let's take a shot. We'll use the acid on this guy. It's my 10 o'clock alarm. Uh, in case you're wondering what time it is here, we're going to drop some acid on this guy. I don't Target think lock, it'll clear the mines. Yeah, I don't think so. I hear you. So all that will do is really help out the mines then in, in the long run. Coordinates received. So this lance is running with a full, like a full four vehicles, and uh, six max. That's as far as I can go. You're not gonna like this. I don't think I right saw here. numbers go up mm -hmm. for anybody else down there. I think it's just the one guy down there. Got a pair of urban tanks, because this was the Rusty Dan start with these guys. Guess I'll give it to him then. Alright, let's see what they do here. I really hope it's just one just the one lance. It could end up being nasty, but who knows. They wanted to drop me down over here. I'm like, nah, I'll take the high ground, thanks. Let's see what they do. This guy's going on twenty two. See if he loses a leg. No, but he'll take a bit a bunch of damage anyway. Twenty five landmines, so maybe not that much. Okay, we got our guys. Looks like a hunchback avatar. Hunchback FB. Fullback. <laughs> I have no idea what that guy is. I have no idea how much damage we did to the legs. Ready for we got like lousy everything on this thing. Oh, that's his back. So we're gonna. Um. Hmm. I could try and plink his back with tandems. I think it's the tandems that would be in range. I'm going to move into here because if we can't really get a good shot at him, we'll take a shot at the uh, 
Owens. That's the mine dispenser. So we're dropping mines on this guy again next turn, so I don't think we need to hit him. But I will be do I will drop the mine dispenser 15 down there. It'll probably be worth it in the long run. That's a terrible spread. Oh well. I'm out of short range missiles. Mine dispensers aren't bad if you use them in, in like volume. And I've got half decent volume with these guys. Oh. What do we got over there? Do they think they can hurt? Roughneck. Alright. What's up, Commander? I think we've uh we outgunned these guys with a significant amount here. On the move. And target that guy down there with my AC2s. Now this thing doesn't have any amazing targeting systems on it, but it's got the uh, what's it called the uh, predator systems and stuff. But I don't have a uh, uh, any optics on this thing. Uh, we'll drop the mines as well. Terrible spread again, but that's fine. Just get some more mines down there. I'm out of short range missiles. Should be able to handle these guys fairly well. Now, for those, for those of you who uh, aren't familiar with the Battle of L Lockdale yet, that's the next um, series that we're doing. Um, or the next Battle Report series. I, I keep calling it a Battle Report series, but not really. It's, it's. Um, I don't know what you would want to, what you'd call it. I guess, for lack of a better term, Battle Report's fine. But, um, yeah, it's the, it's the group of us that are playing, where I've set up a campaign, and I think there's eight of us, nine of us now. Uh, playing in this particular one. There's a few people that had to take some time off from playing, so um, They're gonna be picking it up a little later on Let's drop these guys right in here um, But yeah, I'll put a link to the discord down below if you guys want to go and check it out um, So I'm there's a this scenario going on Battle of Lockdown. Let's just right turn down. five And we've just been hit by a major force of enemy from the south so there's six of us, six of us, I think, in the south, taking battles this turn. Oh, sorry, there's six battles going on. Actually, three of them are my units, but so there's four of us taking battles in the south. Standing by. Uh, let's see here. So I've got my I, I've got my HQ unit from the, the last play through the Battle of Lhasa, and I've got this unit, the battalion supply from the Battle of Lhasa. They're both advanced a little bit. They're not. I mean, they're not amazing in any way. I'm just using them as filler units um, for the scenarios. So I'm hoping that those two units will probably not like. Well, I won't be using them a whole lot in the upcoming scenarios. Um, Good to go. They'll just be there as like um, either stopgap units or units that are just. Um, let's get this guy into here. Units that just guard aye, aye. bases and things like that. So. Um, but for this battle, it's a uh, pretty ma it's a pretty major battle. We got hit by a full division of mechs, so uh, it's a pretty tough fight. Acknowledged. But the first scenario is always a good tough fight. The second one will be Missed. will be nice too. I've already got it planned out. Haven't got the enemy flushed in yet, but the anim but the uh, the battle itself has all been planned out. The maps is uh, pretty much done. On my way. Double time. So that'll be good. That's if we survive this one. We will. I think we'll survive this no problem. The, the team that's playing is pretty good, so should have no problem surviving it. Um, I think I want to apply... I want to see if I can get some damage. This thing's not going to get close to the fight, so... See if we can get some damage on that other leg Never here. Say, or the leg that's wounded. Just to maybe... So we can take it with the mines this turn. Out of short range missile. Good to go. Good to go. You're not going to move. We'll just drop some mortars with acid on this guy. Firing. Excellent. Take that. This should end pretty quick, I think, once we get down there. Standing by. Uh, let's stay out of those guys' sight. Confirmed. And we're gonna drop this right on here. Um, yeah, because I don't know if he might retreat because I got four mechs on the uh, right hand side there. He may back up, so I'm going to put it right on him. I was going to put it in front of him, so if he runs this way, that he'd go through more mines, but that's actually pretty accurate, so we'll leave. That's pretty good. Leave I'm it there. Alright, you don't need to move. Um, 16. What have we got in the. That's the hunchback. Avatar is 8. 
Yeah, I want, I'm getting one piece of salvage out of this. So we've got a, I got a salvage system going for the campaign. So the, if you're, Waiting on you, Commander. if you take more dollars and less, um, let's drop this down here. If you take more dollars and right, less Commander. salvage, then whatever the number of um, salvage you give up, that um, goes into the company coffers. And so, for instance, like in this one, I'm, I'm only taking one salvage as opposed to four. So three points of salvage, uh, even though I'm getting money compensated, three points of salvage are going to go into uh, the company coffers. And that's just going to add up as we play the games. And then there's going to be things that we can, um, that the company can purchase or the, or the, the unit can purchase to uh, use on the map or like artillery or aircraft or uh, drops or things like that. I'm going to be coming up with stuff, infantry, things like that, right? Ready to get it on. So we've got rules for a lot of things, even even right down to infantry. So if you're I fighting in a city, for instance, and you're um, and you're you're fight you're facing an enemy, who do I want to go after here? I don't want to wreck the mine, so that's the thing, right? Twenty-four. So you're out of range for the MRMs. So let's not use the PPC. Let's just go with the NRM tandems on this guy. Maybe we can get a shot in the ammo. Um, yeah, so... Um, nothing. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so there's rules for infantry and, you know, enemy vehicles, convoys, things like that. Stealth has, you know, been incorporated onto the map board. So that, uh, you know, if your unit's got stealth, it um, will be more invisible to the enemy. So the enemy has, everyone's got their own detection range and um, their own stealth ability. So some units might see others. So if an enemy sees you before you see them, they have the option to change their trajectory on the map. And I plot all the enemy moves first. So I, I give the enemy a battle plan before the, before the, uh, the campaign starts. And then um, I plot the enemy turns before I take a look at the player's turns to update the map. And... Um, the enemy will only, um, like, the way I run the enemy is that they'll only perform moves based on what they can see on the map board and their preset directives. So I give the enemy unit, like, you know, it's designed, like, this guy is going to scout, for instance, and not engage the enemy. So that's what they do. If they encounter an enemy, they'll just move away. Um, rather than attacking, and it'll all be based on what they can see. So did this guy... He turned his side to me, but didn't go anywhere, did he? Do I go for the kill on him, or do I... I can take a plank at this guy. I want to try and get some stuff off that off of the Owens. I don't want to blow it up completely. I've been too wanton in the past where I just, just blow mechs up. Just to secure the victory. I think we're gonna win. I gotta watch out for that guy though. I think he's got an AC ten. Shit, hull breach check. Oh, They're hitting my unit. Yeah, you gotta on the moon's surface you gotta watch out for hull breaches, so uh, it could be an issue. It's not bad. Let's get over here though, less chance of shooting my own guys in the back. The past two milk runs I did with these guys. I've been, I did more damage to my own guys by shooting them in the back than I did to the enemy. Or did the enemy did to us, to me, I mean. Um, yeah, let's just plank this guy. Paging target. Nice. Ready for orders. Hmm. Let's get some speed. Get over here. Roger that. I watch my heat here too. Getting the side of this guy. We just dropped a large laser. I'm gonna put some bolt on rockets on this guy. Twenty-two percent. It's not worth it. Firing on target. So he's taking a fair bit of damage from those mines and his legs already. So I think our next. Yeah, I mean fifty. Well, forty something. Forty-five. Not too too bad. I think the next set of mines are going to go right here. Waiting for orders. 
I gotta work out what my what I'm gonna do with my Phoenix though because it's um let's get you here because it's um got a PPC on it and it always clears mines and stuff so mm, do I try and take this guy's leg let's do it let's do it come on Burby Forty-four. That's actually not that bad. Roger that. I meant to do that. Got to clear that building out of there anyway. Standing by. Okay. Let's Roger. target the uh, guy at the back. Sorry if I sound completely unenthusiastic tonight, guys. I'm just tired. Work has been hell again. Copy that. Man, I just I had the biggest scare of my career. Yes, Commander. The other day. And it's just because I, I don't want to say it's because I'm overworked, but part of the reason why it happened is because I'm overworked. I thought I lost, hmm, well, monetary-wise, it was about $14,000 worth of video footage. I thought I accidentally deleted it on a drive to the point where we had sent the drive out to get it recovered and everything, and then realized, because I, I thought I had the footage double backed Waiting up on another Arnie. drive. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And then, yes, we did have a double backed up on another drive. But, um... For some reason, I thought it was something else. So I thought we had lost it, and then we were preparing to go to the client and explain to them why we didn't have the shots and what we were going to do to fix it and all that. And then I found the footage. Like, it was like almost a week went by. Yeah. Then I had this stupid scare that I thought... Because we had, like... Um... There's like a lot of footage, right? Um, and I thought I had deleted two of the video cards, and then I thought after we found it, I'm like, oh no, I, I deleted the other the other stuff. All the other shots are gone. And I had, anyways, long story short, I went into this panic for about a couple of minutes because I thought I, I thought I deleted something other than what, what I thought I, I had deleted. You? And then I had to go back and tell everybody, no, I didn't find the footage. I deleted the other footage by mistake. And it was like the worst moment of like my career, I think. After 30 years of being an editor, it would be the first time I've ever lost footage. But um, yeah, so uh, that's not the case. I did have it backed up. Everything's fine, but I mean, it's still like that. It's surprising how like something like that just shakes your confidence too. Like I'm like I know my job inside and out. I know what I have to do. And I did what I needed to do, and then I just thought I didn't, and it was like the worst feeling. That should take the leg. Nice. We can finish him off. Hopefully the verb you can just take his other leg. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there we go. Got both legs. Nice. Receiving you. Anyways, yeah, it was a pretty big shock for me. Okay, let's get over here. Double time. Let's go. I think we're far enough behind the stuff over here. I think it's under far enough under that hill that these guys can't see us. Anyway, yeah, so I've been like haven't been sleeping, I've been really stressed, and it's like Oh man, what a feeling. You know, going in and personally, ex personally apologizing to the boss, and you know, on the 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 failure of like the fact that I lost that footage, and then after that, having to go back in and apologize again for putting everybody through that, because I somehow didn't see that that I did have it backed up elsewhere. But you know, in all fairness, a lot of stuff was going on at that point in time. There's three editors, Minimal damage on that hit. and one of them is going was going going away on holiday so for a week and the other one uh, just lost his mother so it was just like me there taking on all these yeah, jobs later. and I was like just really really like um, I don't know like really busy That's and like I had so much on my mind I was like I had my jobs plus two other person people's jobs What's up, boss? and things just went crazy and I was just I had just I don't, I don't want to say I lost my mind or whatever but it was like I was really frazzled and that's why I didn't see it I mean, it's not an excuse, but that's just what it was, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, anyway, I, I'm glad I, I'm glad I have really understanding employees to our employers too. Like uh, my boss was like, yeah, this is like completely out of the norm for you. You know, it happens. Man, like 30, I thought for sure my 30 year, um, I don't want to say reputation, but 30 years of being an editor would have been tarnished by this one stupid mistake. Like I've never, Perfect. never deleted video footage. Sorry, let me take that back. I have deleted video Short footage, but back in the day, up. in the ba days of tape, Need something, Chief? it was never an issue because you just redigitize it, right? So it wasn't as top of mind as it is today, right? So we've got one more thunder. Let's drop that like here, I think. On it. Um, yeah, so it's not as um, top of mind as it is today because everything I'm is shot digitally. There is no, are no tapes, so if you delete the footage, it's gone unless you can recover it, right? So, yeah, it went, so it's pretty scary, right? But I always make two copies of everything. Like, I've always got two copies of everything. Consider it done. At least two copies. Some stuff I have more. But for, for, for most stuff, like I'd say 95% of the stuff, I've got two copies of everything. Just because you never know, like, drives fail all the time, right? Alright, let's try and go for this leg here. Ooh, we got one hit on. Nice. I'll take that. Report critical hit. Got something you want Don't like done? the fact that we're destroying leg components because it's going to slow him down. He's going to go through less mines, but that's fine. We'll deal. We'll back up over here with the Centurion. I think I might take a shot again. We'll see what our chance to hit is, but I might go after that leg again. 80. Yeah, we'll take a shot at it. Why not? Got a little bit of uh, leeway on our uh, our resolve, so that didn't hit. Yes, Commander. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, I mean, yeah, and it was like a major. It's like it's one of those clients that you just can't fuck up on. That's the worst part about it too. Like, if it was like a lower end client or whatever, it wouldn't have been a problem. But like that's one of those things where you could lose an account, like you know what I mean? Engaging. And fourteen thousand footage isn't much um, to reshoot the shots, but it's the reputation hit, right? It's not the money; it's the rep hit that you that you take. I hear you. And I just don't I don't want to be the cause of that, you know? Let's see if we can keep heating this guy up. Time to die. So I don't think. Oh, there is a bit of fire, but it should go out immediately because I mean. Yeah. Let's face it, we're on a lunar surface, there's no oxygen to keep the fire going. Even if it is, well, if it's a chemical file, fire, it might do a bit. 21, 6, 21. Let's just drop some on the roughneck here. Soften him up a little bit. Ooh, head hit, nice. Getting a lot more head hits in the matches now, too. Good to go. Alright, well, um, are we going to strike this avatar or are we going to sneak? Mm, I guess we're going to go after the avatar. Lost a small laser. I'm going to push his side here, I think, a little bit. We'll just take the shots. We're going to go with this. Acid ammo, firing. Yeah, a few of the acid rounds hit. Hull breach check. Looks like he's okay. I, don't, I wonder if the tandems cause more hull, be hull breach checks. Uh, I think you need to sprint. Let's get over here. Affirmative. Ooh, that's a back shot in the hunchback. What's this guy sporting? Ballistic and two energy. It's probably... I wonder if that's an ultra 20. Pulses. Let's just shoot this guy. We can get away behind the rock here next turn, so I'm not worried about the heat. Um, let's leave the ER small off, though. Okay, nice. Got the tag on him. So if you guys are interested in what the, what's going on with the... Ah, uh, crap, man. Taking a lot of damage here. Lost the six. The Shit. 
it's gonna spill over into the next battle unless I can get some repairs done. Maybe we just leave him out for the next battle. Double time. Let's go. So there's basically general rules for the for the matches, but ultimately it's it all comes down to how you want to play. So taking the shot. Like there's no no one's gonna be like policing all of your matches and stuff like that. You're not required to record them or any of that stuff. I'm out of SRM. Right, everyone's telling their own narrative, so how accurate you want to be is completely up to you for the battles. Kind of leave it up to the players. Right here. Because it's real, I mean, really, the, the, the matches are just for, like, designed for, for people to have fun in, right? Okay, let's see if we can get these guys shooting at me now. Get them shooting at me. We're just going to open up on this guy with everything. Shotguns in range, beautiful. There's the knockdown. Leg gone. Hull breach check, should be okay, looks like. SRMs are gone. Okay, one injury. He's got a bunch of LRMs that are coming in a second. Actually, we should probably just try and plink his head with this guy too. Uh, let's go after your head. And I think we've got... We've only got acid. Oh, that's fine. Engaging target. I don't use this fire truck all that often. There we go. Oh, never mind. Ammo explosion. Hassle eliminated. I was hoping for a knockout, but no big deal. Oh, Commander. This guy's got, like, no speed. Roger that. <laughs> at least nobody's shooting at him. 38. And... 38. Let's take a shot at this guy, though. That hunchback, I think, is our next target, but I don't know. Reporting negative damage. Probably. He's still... I mean, I don't know. Maybe he can get over that hill next turn. Standing by. On the move. Yeah, so as I was saying, I mean, like, you're really dictating your own match. If you want to be super accurate, be super accurate. If you don't, you don't. I mean, it's all about you enjoying yourself. Let's go this route. Mm. Let's go with tandem. Roger. The PPC made, made... Yeah. Got rid of the mines behind him. No big deal. Hoping for a hull breach here, but whatever. He's going to keep moving forward anyway, so... So I don't like using the PPC in this. i got to find another weapon, but I won't be able to do that until the end of this... Um, this first uh, campaign, or this first scenario. Because we're in battle till the end of the scenario, so there's no changing loadouts. Although we do get armor repair between battles, because some not everyone's using rogue tech. Some people are using um, battle tech advance, which I think automatically gives you automatic armor repair. I don't know if it's a setting or not, but some people have auto auto repair, so I don't. I don't fault people if they want to repair their armors between battles, even if they're having back-to-back -back battles. That's fine. Um, let's go... We got Infer We got Incendiary, so we're going to go with that. Confirm. Place some more mines down. Okay, put them over. Nice. Take that. I'm out of SRM. Alright, let's give him an ultimatum. You betcha. Nice. Enjoy that heat, Bubba. Yeah, critical hit. Got that Commander. right. Commander. You can give him the LRMs as well. Firing at him. So the, I mean, like the idea is just to play and have fun. That I know I've said this multiple times, hit. but the that idea for the scenarios is just to play and have fun and hang out with a group of people and chat if you want. Order. So, the Discord's there. I mean, I'll put I'll put the link in the description below. Feel free to go hit it up if you want. Um, it, it, even if you don't, even if you don't want to play, you just want to hang I'm out and see what's going on. Feel free to do it. Fast. Just go. The uh, dis Commander. Discord's open for everybody, so even if you want to just go in there and read the uh, role-playing channel. On my way. Every commander's got their own kind of personality, which is kind of cool. Got it. The people are great too, like the. That all the people that are involved are like super enthusiastic about, the, about everything which is great, so... Ow. So he's got a silver bullet, Goss. Hey, I'm losing armor silver over bullet. here. Silver bullet! Yes, Commander. 
Hmm. I don't like the idea of getting close to this guy. Especially with that heat. Let's just, we'll wait a turn. Let's pull back here. Looking out. Drop that heat, we'll wait a turn, and we'll, then we'll dart in and go after his legs, I think. These guys up here can take a few hits. So I was going to try and run some of the battles where we would have to, like... Oh, uh, shit. Really hurt. Ow. Where you, where you couldn't repair armor between battles? But like I said, that's not an option for some people, so... Wait, did he crash? And it's just not showing it? Yeah, that's what happened. What's up, boss? Damn it. Let's get some payback if we can. Uh, you got acid. I want you on that hunchback. So let's get into here. Coordinates received. Definitely not the best match I ever played. Uh, we got Inferno. Standard. Oh, we don't have acid on this guy. I thought we did. Shoot. Got tandems though, so let's use those as well. Target locked. All right. I'm out of short range missiles. He's Ready freaking toasty as hell, though. Um, let's get down here. Do I risk clearing that minefield? I don't think we want to risk it. Let's go with improved too. Okay, we penned. Reporting critical hit. It's in that leg, I think. Receiving you. All right, Ranchirio. Let's see if we can shut that hunchback down. That guy's gonna come over the hill in a second. Let's get to here. We'll face him. We'll turn our medium lasers off off anyway. Wow, we're still generating a lot of heat here. Alright, we'll take it though. That okay, three crits. Oh, he's got a pirate version of that. What's up, boss? Let's get some acid on this guy. Okay, he's open now too. Okay, destroying those legs. Hit, commander. Waiting on you, commander. And let's try for the shutdown on this guy. Oh, only 10% now, eh? That's 8 on this guy, so let's go after this guy then. No sweat. Nothing. Oh, never mind. There's more where that came from. Why is I open I, I always yeah. open my mouth too soon. So he's shut down. We could go after his head, but I think we target this guy. Here we go. That guy's out of the battle now. Let's focus on taking this guy down. I think I hit something. Oh, oh, it's on now. It's totally on now. Receiving you. All right, convoy. Let's see if we can finish off this uh, hunchback here. Let's get right into here where that other guy can't see on us. The move. Full speed. And this should be a free shot against the leg. We'll load up everything and fire it all. That's a fair amount of leg hits. Nice. There's the knockdown and then leg destroyed. <laughs> and an ejection. Beautiful. That silver bullet goss was destroyed already, Ready so... No biggie. Let's close a little bit. Aye, aye. Put some rounds into the side of this guy. Cluster rounds. Yep. And firing. There goes his whole side. Critical hit, Commander. Receiving you. Feel free to use that PPC, my friend. God, I hate this mech. It's got like three hard points or something on it. Engaging. There you go. That should do it. Nope, not quite. Knocked down though. Let's see if he bails out once he falls over. We got lucky with the number of mechs here in this battle. There we go. Three and a half skull, done. 
Mission successful. All right. Well, we made some good money. I need it. I needed the C bills for the uh, financial reports anyway. Yeah. So the uh, this guy's got to probably be out. Well, if I if I bring him in the next fight, I can't fix the small laser. We got to go with no like. Oh, and the SRM six is gone too. So I'd have to leave everything in, but the uh, yeah, he'll probably have to go. I, I don't know. I might pull him out. We'll see how it goes. But this mech can't get repaired until the end of the battle, or the end of the scenario, so it might just come out of the lineup for now. Which could be a problem. And I'm going to choose one piece of salvage. Ooh, the combat shotgun. Man, these things are great. It's like a six ton um, LBX. Let's not take that though. LBX 10 would be nice. I've got one, so I don't have to worry about that. Tag, tagger. I should just take this for C bills and sell it. Oh, Pharaoh. Do I need Pharaoh? I certainly do. And heavy Pharaoh. I think this, I need this more though. I've got two of them. No, I don't need it more. I might just take that then. Yep, we'll take that. And then we've got a couple of other things. So this can go. Oh, I lost a Verbi. No. It's gone. Damn it. Follow the leader ammo, machine gun ammo can go. Ah, <sighs> shit. Well, can't win them all. Yep, Verbi gone. 83,000, so not too bad. 12 days for repairs. I'll probably just I'm probably just going to pull out the um, yeah for now we'll just pull out the uh, hey, Commander. Cyclone and we'll run without it we'll run with 5 so I'll just quickly manage my tasks here make sure the Cyclone is like out of the repair bring that up and we want you second, you third and fourth so 5 days for repair it's not bad alright so I'm going to end this here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go check out the uh, the um, scenario for the uh, um, for Lockdale on the Discord, which I'll put in the link below. And until next time, we'll see you later.